so we're down at the electric vehicle uh, shindig here at on Stephen Ave. Uh, here is a home-built electric Porsche. Pretty sweet, I gotta say. It's got a uh, Azir Dynamics uh, motor controller, uh, Siemens uh, AC induction motor. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, wiring there still to be done, but uh, very nice, very clean uh, install. It's a two-seater. So it's pretty sporty. I think most of the batteries are actually in the back. So we might be able to get a look at those uh, a little bit later. But uh, yeah, 100% electric. And we got a bunch of other vehicles down here today. We got uh, a couple of zero motorcycles, which we're going to check out in a bit. Uh, a couple Teslas and a couple other cars that I haven't even looked at yet. So this is pretty darn neat. We're definitely going to have a good look around here today and see what there is. Got a uh, Zero S here motorcycle, pretty darn cool. It's got an 11.4 kilowatt hour battery pack, uh, made in Santa Cruz, California, and it's got a big uh, AC motor there. Uh, you can see some of the wires there. This is actually a pretty neat, just they utilize the frame here to store your power cord, and you actually plug in your uh, charger cord right there. Uh, it's got a belt drive, which is a bit uh, unique to me. I haven't ever ridden the a bike with a belt drive before but I'm sure it's pretty quiet pretty nice uh, what else do we got here I mean other than that it's just basically a normal bike I can't you can't really decipher anything too uh, different about it other than it's electric uh, no clutch of course no clutch handle um, actually I just noticed the sport button there that's kind of cool so I guess it's got uh, uh, sport eco mode that you can uh, select Pretty sweet. That's the Zero S. Now we also got the uh, Zero DS, which I, I guess they're dual sport version. Yeah, you can kind of tell the tires on this one's got more aggressive tread on there. And then this one's more street. So same thing, 11.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. And uh, a very similar layout. No sport button on that one, but uh, same kind of deal. So I've been talking to uh, a dealer here in Calgary and they say that uh, you can actually get uh, an external battery pack that you can add on on top here for more range as well. So pretty neat. Um, other than that, yeah, like I said, it's pretty much just your standard uh, stuff here. Nothing really too different about it other than that it's uh, full electric so pretty pretty sweet I'm definitely gonna have to take one of those for a spin someday and uh, check it out so here we got a Chevy Volt uh, let's see what we got uh, it's looking kind of space age and very strange inside but uh, a decent looking car I guess uh, they don't really show you much in the front here just plastic cover I got some power cables there oh yeah this of course is the gasoline engine so the Volt is actually a plug-in uh, I believe this is a plug-in hybrid so it's got your standard engine coupled with uh, your electric drivetrain, which actually looks like it's, it's probably only about a third of all the stuff in the engine bay here. Oh, here's one driving right by us. <laughs> what the heck was that? Well, that guy's gonna back her up. All right, so here is something cool. We got a Tesla Model S, so it's a sedan version. Pretty cool. Looks like uh, inside it's just a huge tablet. Oh, it's just a full digital dash. There's no analog gauges. Very minimalistic design. I actually quite like that. There's no look at all the look at the steering wheel there. There's no buttons or any fiddly bits on the steering wheel. Looking uh, 
Very nice. Actually got room in the back for more people. It's, you know, I, I expected it to be like a pretty like small sedan, but no, it's like a full size, uh, full size dealy here. How's it going? Excuse me. Oh, pretty cool. It's got some weird handles there, so I think. I think these handles recess in, don't they? I think, I think they do. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure, I, th I think these handles recess in if I remember correctly. So like when you're driving down the road, it's full flush. Yeah, maybe. Actually, even the sunroof is kind of odd. It, oh, I don't know, it just looks different than what I've usually seen. Huh. Interesting, yeah, it's just a full, no screwing around there. They really did a decent job of that. They had some big gas shocks on that rear door as well. Huh. Very nice. Okay, so we got a Nissan Leaf here now. Let's, uh, unfortunately, we can't, we can't see any of the goods on the Tesla. It's all kind of covered up. There's no, you can't see the motor, you can't see the controller, you can't see the batteries, so kind of all covered up there so that's kind of unfortunate uh, the Nissan Leaf uh, same thing here looks like we got a uh, full electric car here no screwing around uh, quite a small controller in there I gotta say so it's got to be like a lower a lower power unit I'm not sure what this thing is Looks like it's got the charge port right on the front here which is interesting it's just got your standard hood latch there well, that's about it. I mean, there's not much else we can see here. It's all kind of covered up. Probably all the batteries are down low underneath somewhere. Don't really know. But, uh... Pretty cool. Not as cool as a Tesla, of course, but... Oh, uh, here we go. Here's, uh... We'll come check out these. this motorcycle over here in a sec. Gasonic. What are these guys? What is this thing? This is, looks like a Prius here. I think this is just, a Yeah. It's just an equipment vehicle. Right on. So this bike here is uh, an electric motorcycle from the University of Calgary. Uh, Team Zeus is what I think it's called. It's uh, out of the Schulich School of Engineering, the engineering school I went to. And what they're, they've done here is they've built this bike for the uh, uh, TTX GP, I think is what it's called, the electric motorcycle race. E-moto racing. E racing. Okay. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna be racing in the U.S. Uh, or I guess they already have, right? Yeah, we just came back from Utah. Oh, excellent. <laughs> okay, so this bike has already been through a race, so that's pretty pretty awesome. So I guess uh, maybe I can ask them here to run us through, uh, I guess their setup here. They explained it to me briefly a minute ago, but uh, maybe just for everyone on the channel, they can uh, describe everything here again. So yeah, they have a lot of instrumentation here for probably various various safety features as well, I'm guessing, right, for the race regulations. So you got so a bunch of offs there. Uh, BMS charge, status of charge, bunch of warning lights, all kinds of stuff for the race. Okay, so they have a tether switch. So this, this ties to your jacket or, or whatnot. And when you fall off the bike, it pulls that out and cuts power to the whole bike. Awesome. That's great. Yep, so here, uh, you can't really see it very well, but there's an Anderson connector, but in case anything goes wrong, there's a mechanical disconnect. Uh, so it's a kind of a simple, big thing that you can pull out nice and simple. Awesome. So they got uh, a safety disconnect there attached to that bracket that you can yank out and uh, cut power to the bike. Looks like they also have a different. Uh, power connector on the bottom there as well 
that they can cut power with. Now, I assume since this is a race bike, you don't have any charger on board. That's correct. So yeah, this thing is optimized for racing. So what do you usually charge it with when you're at the race or I guess when you're at the shop or? So we bought a, about a, a 1500 watt charger and an Alcon charger. So it charges yeah. about 12 amps, so it takes about six hours to go from fully discharged to fully charged. Okay, so from, from that, uh, just from him, his description there, you probably have about a 10 kilowatt hour battery pack in here, ish. Uh, actually, quite a bit less. So we have about okay. Hours. Okay. Okay. So it's got about the same capacity as my bike for reference, uh, but of course they're going to be running some much higher power here because they're they're racing with it. So they're especially when they uh, have two motors in this bike, they're going to be pulling some pretty high power uh, racing racing around the track there. So they've. Uh, They've optimized the design for power, so very nice. All of these vehicles here on this entire street are all electric. But like a car, you can put in an alternator, right? Right. Yeah, but you're taking power from the engine. Energy. So you're, you're essentially using gasoline to create electricity. Got some more engineering questions for these guys here. Uh, so how did you build the management electronics and what did you do there uh, to monitor the battery pack? of the voltage of the battery pack. So right now we're running at about 92 volts or so. So we just have to multiply by 5 to get the actual voltage of the pack. We also have wow, okay. uh, continuous current meter. So for instance, if I turn this on, you'll see. It gives you live values for the amount of current that's being discharged through the motor. In addition, it can tell you information such as the amount of energy that you've used over the entire time that the bike's been running, the state of charge of the battery as a percentage, and also the number of hours that it's been running. Okay. Excellent. So they've got all the data showing up on this display here. Looks great. All right. So I guess for the race, for the driver, uh, do you hire a professional racing driver or do you have someone that's trained in house to ride or? Okay, awesome. Yeah, so they got some real talent that rides this bike around the track. Excellent. So I don't know, I'm not sure what other questions to ask. I think you've covered everything there. Uh, it looks great. Uh, our Tesla Roadster here, finally. So now this thing looks badass. It's super small, so it's got to be pretty light. Two-seater. Uh, just awesome. got some weird pivoting things on the lights there once again very simplistic interior like it's got almost no fiddly knobs or anything which I really like it's just uh, it's a straight-up car it's just got a steering wheel and a couple pedals and that's it 
It actually looks like it has a huge trunk to it. Maybe that's uh, old batteries, I don't know. Um, very sweet. Yeah, it's got a, a traditional gas cap there, with probably a plug under it. and It's got some recessed uh, door handles. Kind of like the Corvette, where you push the button and the door just kind of pops open. Oh, so it's got two massive uh, fans under there and a radiator for something. Probably for the motor controller or the motor. Pretty cool. Man, we got lots of Teslas here. So we got a couple more Model S's floating around. Man, I gotta say, I like that Roadster though. That's uh, things just not screwing around. It's just a sports car. Very nice.